This is Rugby Roundup. Coming up, we'll preview the quarter-final cup clash between Worcester and Moseley. Hello and welcome to Rugby Roundup. I'm Chrissy Savas and I'm joined in our Fort Dunlop studios by rugby correspondent Brian Dick. Hello, Brian. Hi, Chrissy. Well, it's the cup clash. Is it a game that either side need? Well, Worcester probably do need a match, yeah. They've uh, they've been away in the last week, actually, on the Ark Royal doing some uh, some analysis and some team building. And uh, they, they've got... Um, they then play Bristol on, on March 13th, so uh, they've, they've got a, they'll play on Saturday and then they've got an eight-day turnaround, so uh, that, that, that's okay for them. And, and we all know they've got the big resources, a big, uh, a big squad to, to, to cope with this sort of thing. Uh, and it, it's a bit different going for, going for promotion uh, in a promotion playoff than, than it is in a, in a relegation playoff, which is, a, which is what Mosley have got. Um, do they, do Mosley need this game? I'll tell you what you know on Friday in a week on Friday when they've been down to Plymouth and, and we've seen what's happened there. If if they pick up injuries to key players um, at six ways this weekend, that, then it, it's definitely not game they need, not a game they needed. They, you know they, there are certain guys in their team that are absolutely indispensable. They haven't got the, the depth to to uh, to cover them. Um, so if they get injured this weekend, then you know it's going to be a little short of disastrous. Um, result wise. You know, all Mosley need to do basically is get out of this unscathed, really, and and you know, and Worcester will march on probably. However, have have Worcester done the analysis? No, they haven't done a lot of analysis. Um, for for Mosley, they've been concentrating on their on their three playoff um, opponents. What sort of side do you think Worcester will put out? Well, Worcester have, have picked a strong side, um, with the exception of Andy Goode, uh, who who's on the bench. Um, they 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 probably picked what you'd identify as, as their first team. Um, that Richard Hill told me that, that he, he gave some of the players a, the opportunity to take the week off and, and be fresh for Bristol and in their first playoff campaign, first playoff game, sorry. But um, the players have opted in. They, they fancy a run out against Mosley. It uh, should be a decent occasion at home. And you know, if they if if they can book a, a semi-final slot to uh, to look forward to, then then all well and good for them. And how will Mosley approach the game? Well, as I said before, they've got they've got these 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 key players that, that they they can't afford to risk really. I mean so Brad Davis is is so far head and shoulders their their best their best fly half that it, you know they, they can't afford to can't afford to risk him for a whole match I wouldn't have said. Um, Neil Mason is coming coming into form in on the blind side. He's a key player. David Lyons is a key player in the lock and, and Adam Kay's probably uh, bearing in mind the, the depth of that uh, hooker, you know, that it would be Horrendous for Mosley if Adam Cave was to get injured. So, so they will they will look they will look at their selection, and I think they they will say, well, you know, who can't we afford to go to Plymouth without? And, and that will very much uh, in, inform the guys that play for them. Well, we caught up with Brad Davis. It's Worcester away, local derby, and we got a big you know a big enough squad now to go there and really really have a crack at them. Um, so yeah, it's a game. I think at the start of the season, if someone said you want a sort of like a game just before the playoffs, and everyone else hasn't, probably no. But now, yeah, why not? You know, we've got a fit, fit fresh squad, big squad, and we go down, you know, looking to carry on a good bit of form with sort of. I mean, there's always that risk element every week. So, um, but hopefully, you know, Smithy and Magsy will have a, a good plan in mind of who they want to use, and uh, you know, I'm sure they want to keep as many people fresh as they can for the week after, because we've got a short turnaround with the Plymouth game being on Friday. So, yeah. um, hopefully, you know, a lot of the squad will get a run against Worcester but we, you know, we are going there to win and um, there's no better place to do that. That was Mosley's Brad Davis. Well they will be the underdogs won't they but have they got a chance? Uh, they have got a chance yeah I mean as I've said Worcester have been away um, they've not done a huge amount of analysis on Mosley that they'll pretty much uh, look at the game to go through go through the patterns they want, they want to run. Um, Mosley have been liberated by uh, by playing in the, in the British and Irish Cup this, this season they, they've, they've found it a uh, a much less pressurised environment, and uh, any team that, that, that goes um, not and doesn't feel pressure uh, can be inspired by a big, big occasion. So, whilst I'm not saying Mosley will win, you know the, the, there is an op- there is a there is potential for an upset. Yeah. Well, now let's turn our attention to Bees. Talk us through their Pool D campaign. Well, they, they won two, um, two of their matches. Uh, most recently, the last one against Rotherham um, last Sunday, which. You know, which was a, a decent knockabout. It was uh, Rotherham put in an experimental side. Bees were trying a, new, a few things, and you know th- they weren't really playing with with 
you know, taking all the, all the tactical options that they may take in, in, a, in a playoff game. Um, but you know, a, a win is a win for, for Bees. And, and, and strangely, they could have gone through. They, they didn't finish that far behind air. And now you look back at uh, uh, the fact they, they lost to air at home in, in what was a pretty poor match. Um, and had they played properly and won in that game, as, as they clearly could have done, um, they'd have been going through to, uh, to the quarterfinals themselves. And now that raises the question, do Bees need to play a quarterfinal of the British and Irish Cup before they, uh, before they, they play in the playoffs? Like Worcester, maybe they've got an extra day. They they play on they play their first playoff game on Sunday, so uh, a week on Sunday. So you know they, they might have had the extra time to have enjoyed that, but you know it's all hypothetical now. So what will bees will be doing at the moment? And bees have got a uh, book to training session on Saturday, uh, and then they'll they'll do plenty of analysis for the uh, for the Isha game. Interestingly, they've they've had um, an edu- uh, a, a sports psychologist um, come and visit them this week. Um, and they, they found that a very, very positive um, experience. You know, they, 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 it's, they've been trying to build the belief that they can they can get themselves out, out of these uh, these relegation playoffs again. And uh, you know, as, I, as I've said a, a lot this this season, when they play well, they, they they can and they will get out of these relegation playoffs. And you know, it's just about Russell Earnshaw has just brought brought this um, this guy in just to uh, just as a you know as a one percenter, just to sort of. Uh, try and give them that little bit of advantage which uh, which you'll hope they'll get. Thanks for joining us Brian and thank you for watching. We'll be back next week with analysis of those matches. Bye for now.